Qmix 107.3 and Qmix.com present the Q Wake Up Crew with Don and CJ. And a new movie opening up in theaters this weekend. It's called Georgia Rule, mm-hmm. starring uh, Lindsay Lohan and uh, <clears throat> Jane Fonda. Joining us on the phone this morning to talk about Georgia Rule, the number one film critic throughout all of Columbus, Seymour, and South Central Indiana, Matt Sosi. Tell us all about this new film starring Hanoi Jane. Uh, let's let's get over this, all right? Do you want should I drug up the old Reagan Nixon jokes if you're gonna do that? Well, come on, it's th- I know it's 35 years after the point, but when is she going to apologize to the veterans who who served their country during the Vietnam War? He, he didn't read her autobiography that came out a couple years back. Yeah, I, he's he's been on it all morning, Matt. I wouldn't have paid good money to buy such rubbish. Well, then, you can't have it both ways, because she did in the book, but you don't, you don't want to read it. So, right. move on, O'Reilly. And here we have a film about a really witchy, lying teenage girl with an alcoholic, passive-aggressive mother, and she thinks she'll drop her daughter off with her domineering grandmother, that's Fonda, so we have three really unlikable characters. Oh, but it's a comedy. And it's, as they say in the ads, from the makers of Pretty Woman and the Princess Diaries. Not even close. Three. Dawn, are you ready to reward one lucky Cumix listener with $100 in Cumix cash? I am. Good morning, Cumix. Who's this? This is Jennifer. Jennifer, what's your last name? Newland. Jennifer, from where are you calling? I'm calling from my house. Oh, where do you live? I live in Columbus. Yeah, oh. give us your exact address and tell us what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> the Indianapolis 500 today is uh, Fast Friday at the track. Mm-hmm. Uh, practice continues today. Tomorrow is uh, poll day, the first day of qualifications. And an interesting news story, Dawn. Okay. Officials at the Speedway say that ticket sales for this year's Indy 500 are going much faster than in recent years. Well, I couldn't imagine why. Well, and some people say it's because of the exciting finish last year between Sam Hornish Jr. and rookie Marco Andretti. Whatever. I don't believe I don't believe it for a second. There's no way. You put girls in cars together and it will sell out all the time. You make a great point. It's true. I think a lot of people have a vested interest in the Indianapolis 500 this year mm-hmm. because you have the possibility of having three female drivers among the field of 33. Danica Patrick, Mm -hmm. Sarah Fisher, and the rookie from Venezuela. Her name is Milka Duno. And wouldn't it be fascinating to have all three in the Indy 500? I think it would be great. And it attracts a whole different audience, too. Of course, I'm a little more interested than I have been in the past in something else. I mean, I don't care if you're doing splits, waxing, or driving a car. The guys are going to look at you if you're a girl. There's just no doubt about it.